Okay, so we've got a two-step algebra equation. The difference here, and I think what might overwhelm some people, is that we have all of these fraction coefficients. But really, all of your strategies for any two-step equation apply whether you have fractions or whole numbers or integers or whatever. For example, um, if I gave you a problem that said 2 times something, right, plus 1 is, I don't know, 12. Here, typically, the two steps we might use are to first subtract by 1, although we don't have to. It's usually a great first step, right? Add or subtract if you can. And we get 1 minus 1 is 0, 12 minus 1 is 11. We get 2 times x equals 11. Then, well, to find out what we have to multiply by, we can divide by 2 on both sides, right? And we get x equals 11 over 2. Or we can think that 2 goes into 11 5 times with a remainder of 1, so it's 5 and a half. So my basic steps here were to look at the constant term, and if we're adding that constant term as we were here, then we subtract it. If we were subtracting it, then we add it, right? And then we divide by the coefficient next to the variable. And that's that exact strategy of adding or subtracting and then dividing by that coefficient works here as well. So watch what happens, right? I have 4 ninths d minus 2 thirds equals 8. So my first step here with this coefficient, since we're subtracting it, is to add it to both sides. And what this really is doing is isolating the variable. It's getting the variable d all by itself, so we can find out what its value is. Two opposites add to zero. Eight plus two-thirds is eight and two-thirds. So we have four-ninths d equals eight and two-thirds. What I would do with my personal preference at this point is to turn any mixed number into an improper fraction. Right, we have eight holes and two thirds. So eight holes is like twenty-four thirds, two more thirds is twenty-six thirds, right? Or you could think three times eight is twenty-four plus two is twenty-six equals four ninths d. So here we could um, then multiply both sides by the reciprocal, nine over four, right? When you have a fraction coefficient times a variable, just multiply by the reciprocal, it saves you a lot of time. Because what happens is here on the right-hand side, this cancels out to 1. And we just have d equals what? We could do 26 times 9 over 12, but I notice that 3 goes into 9 3 times. So it's like 9 divided by 3, and that's just 3. 26 over 4, those are both even, so I divide them both by 2. We get 13 over 4. Well, 4 got half is 2. So here we have 13 times 3 over 2, and this factor cancels out, so it's just over 2, it's 39 over 2, and that's our answer here. So d equals 39 over 2, which is a two-step equation. Thanks.